Hi everybody, I am Max Smith. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Shawbost, that's Shawbost Beach, and now I live in Glasgow. So I've been able to speak Gaelic since I was born. It was the first language I spoke. Most of the people in my family speak Gaelic and I went to Gaelic medium education in Shawbost School and I also, with Miss McTaggart actually, was in the Gaelic class in the Nicholson when I went to high school. So since high school, I've been able to work in Gaelic and Gaelic's given me loads of opportunities. So when I was 16, I started presenting once a month a programme on the radio, on Radio Nigel, called Rappel. Uh, since then, I actually, when I was younger, I used to watch a programme called Janish that used to be on the telly. Um, and then when I actually uh, was about 19, I was able to start presenting Janish and it was so exciting for me because I used to watch this programme and then I was a presenter on it. Uh, and I would never have been able to do any of those things if it wasn't for Gaelic. If I didn't have Gaelic, I would never have had the chance to do that. And also I'm able to do voiceovers for cartoons on BBC All About Now. So Gaelic's really special to me, not only because I've been able to do all these really cool things that I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise, but because it gives me a tie to home. It reminds me of home. That's where I learned Gaelic. So many people in Lewis can speak Gaelic. And it's really important to kind of bring that culture if you were if you move away from home like I have, it's really good to bring your culture with you, not forget your Gaelic or forget anything about home, but to be able to share with that with people who maybe don't know what Gaelic is or haven't heard of it. Um, and if you can't speak Gaelic at all, or if you've only got a tiny wee bit, Beck and Gaelic, if you've only got a wee bit of Gaelic, then you can speak to the, the your friends in the Gaelic class, speak to Miss McTaggart. There's, you can read a wee book if you want to speak to someone in Gaelic, maybe get better at speaking a wee bit. Everyone's really happy to help you do that. And it's so great because you can go home and you could put some Gaelic music on. There's so many good Gaelic bands and singers. You could put the radio on in Gaelic. You can watch BBC all of it when you go home from school and there's Gaelic there. It's so easy to um, speak to people in Gaelic and to use your Gaelic every day and to learn any, if you don't have any Gaelic at all, here's, you can say, hello, it's Misha, and then that's your name and then that's who you are. So Gaelic is just, I'm so proud of the fact I have Gaelic. All of my friends who have Gaelic are so proud of the fact and it's just a great kind of way to bring your culture in other places in the world. So, um, Suez Leisure Gaelic. Cheerio and Bye bye. Um, my name's Ailey and I'm from Fort William. I learnt Gaelic in primary school and high school. My family don't speak Gaelic at all. Um, but I would say that Gaelic is a big part of my life and is very important to me. I use Gaelic daily in my job and in to speak to my friends and to my sisters and to my brother. I also enjoy reading Gaelic stories and books and I enjoy listening to Gaelic music and I'm so proud that I can speak Gaelic and I'm so happy that I went through Gaelic medium education. Hello, my name's Ailey and I'm from Aberdeen. I live in Edinburgh and I'm a primary school teacher here and this year I have primary four. Um, I learnt Gaelic in Aberdeen at primary school. Um, my parents don't speak Gaelic. Um, well, my mum has a little bit, but my dad doesn't speak, speak any Gaelic. Um, Gaelic's really important to me because it gave me lots of, op well, I use it every single day in work and also at, when I was younger especially, it gave me lots of opportunities that I wouldn't have had if I didn't speak Gaelic. For example, um, faces, um, mods, um, debates, um, Stratagon and camps and things like that and I met loads of people through Gaelic so I'm very grateful for it. Hello, my name is Maureen McLennan and I'm from Harris but I live in Glasgow and I'm also one of Miss McTaggart's best friends. Um, I thought I'd come here today to just tell you a wee bit about what Gaelic means to me seeing as it's Lana Gaelic today. Um, Gaelic was my first language and I learnt it before I went to school and I still speak it today. Um, Gaelic means an awful lot to me because it's the language I use to speak to my family um, and also to speak to some of my friends. Um, I also really enjoy speaking Gaelic and I like to listen to Gaelic music and I like to watch Gaelic programmes on the telly um, and also one of my favourite things to do is listen to the Thurakan on a Friday night. Um, I love speaking Gaelic and I hope you do too um, and I hope you have a lot of fun celebrating Lana Gaelic. Bye! Hi everyone, my name's Lauren and I'm from Fort William. I got my Gaelic from the primary school. Um, my family doesn't speak Gaelic, so 
so it's now just me and my sister who have Gaelic um, and I think that's one of the reasons why I think that um, Gaelic medium is so important um, in terms of helping the language to grow and sustain it um, and to recognise how important it is. I enjoy speaking Gaelic and having Gaelic um, as it makes me feel sort of closer to um, my country as it's an important thing, an important Scottish thing really. Um, so yes, if you have it, use it and if you don't have it, learn as much as you can. Hello, my name is Mark or it's Misha Mark. I'm here today to talk to you about Gaelic and what it means to me. Uh, I actually learnt Gaelic, um, didn't want it to end with my grandfather and so uh, I learnt it, it was very hard. Uh, but got there in the end uh, and that helped me uh, work towards becoming a teacher for a time which I don't do anymore because teaching is very hard um, but what I have done with my Gaelic now is I've created a Gaelic YouTube channel uh, it's a gaming channel because I love my PlayStation and it's taught me skills like uh, writing, editing and just in general how to create a video from beginning to end uh, I've learned so much and if it wasn't for Gaelic and having that idea to make that channel I don't think I would have had these skills. Uh, Gaelic's very, very special to me. I now have a better feeling of what it means to be Scottish. I understand place names and how Gaelic helps shape the land that we that we live in. Uh, and I think it's a no extra language is ever is ever a bad thing, whether it be Gaelic or French or Spanish. It's always better to have more than one, uh, and it just kind of opens a lot more doors for you. But um, yeah. The Gaming Gale, if you fancy checking it out. There's only a few videos up just now. If you like Fall Guys, there's a couple of that. Uh, but otherwise, have a good day and uh, try your hand at some Gaelic. Hi, my name is Amanda. I am one of Miss McTaggart's best friends from primary school. Um, I went to Aird Primary School with Mr. Taggart through the Gaelic medium. That's where I learned to speak Gaelic. Although I did speak Gaelic before I went to school, I learned from my parents. Um, I'm currently working in Edinburgh just now um, in the hospital and don't need to use Gaelic very much for that um, because I don't work with any Gaelic speakers but it is something that people are very interested in and always ask me about and always ask me to translate some words so I feel very proud to be able to speak the language and um, I think it's a very special and unique quality and skill to have. Um, and I feel very grateful to my parents that they did put me through Hello, Boon Skull Hunga, it's Misha Robert. I guess I'm here clearly in Colin Tidelines. I hear you've all been celebrating La and the Gaelic today. Gaelic means loads to me. It's Gaelic music has allowed me to travel the world and meet loads of great people and have amazing memories. So stick in, come on, and we'll catch you soon. Cheers. My name's Katie Graham, and I'm from Back. Glad to hear you're marking La and Gaelic in Tongue Primary School. Gaelic was my first language at home and I feel so fortunate to have been taught it. I use it every day to talk to my family and I also use it every day in my work. If it wasn't for having Gaelic, I wouldn't have the job I am so fortunate to have. It is Scottish Gaelic after all, part of the culture of Scotland, so it is important that we continue to use it. You are all so fortunate to have the opportunity to hear it and learn it in school. Make the most of the opportunity to be even more unique than you already are. Since it is Lana Gaelic, I challenge you all to learn a new word or a new phrase today and be proud of the little Gaelic you have. Hello everybody, my name is Lauren, but when I'm sitting in this chair and in this room, my name is Miss Ferguson because I teach primary seven in a primary school. Because of that, I use Gaelic every day because I need to teach it to the people in my class. And maybe you're learning some Gaelic too just now. Outside of school though, I use Gaelic in lots of different ways. And one of those ways is when I talk to my friends who also have Gaelic. But the other reason is I use Gaelic as part of my hobbies. Outside of school, I run a little blog in Gaelic connected to makeup. And as part of that, sometimes I dress up in nice makeup. Sometimes I dress up as Shrek. Sometimes the dress up is Donald Trump. It kind of just depends. Now, 
Now, perhaps you are learning Gaelic in the same way that I learned it. Neither of my parents spoke Gaelic, which means I learned all of my Gaelic when I was at primary school. And then I carried on learning it into high school and then on to university. And I'm so glad that I did because I've had so many special opportunities because I speak Gaelic. And if you're learning Gaelic just now, I hope that you keep going because I'm sure that you will see lots of benefits when you're older as well. Where would I be without Gaelic? I have no idea. It's a very good question, but I am very, very grateful that I have it and possess it and practice it. There's no point in learning about it if you don't practice it. So if you can, keep practicing. And um, who knows, like I say, you never know where it'll take you. It's taken me all over Europe, following Celtic and Rangers in Scotland and across all the competitions. And thankfully, it pays my bills. Take it easy, enjoy your day. I started speaking Gaelic when I was very young, when I was a baby. And yeah, I did it through primary school all the way through to secondary school, to my advanced hires. I've had lots of opportunities um, in the meaning, uh, in, in the media with Gaelic. And sometimes I still think in Gaelic, which I think is quite funny. Um, Gaelic's very important and it ties you to a lot of things. It will give you a lot of opportunities. It will connect you to your friends, your family, your culture, to music and to art. And it's something very special that you have and I hope you keep using it. Hello, my name is Alison Graham and I live in Bach, a place where Gaelic is still spoken a lot, meaning I understand it well and I'm used to hearing it and speaking it to my family, my friends and as part of my school learning. I learned Gaelic from a very young age from hearing it at home with almost all of my family knowing the language fluently. Gaelic was indeed my first language as a little girl and I feel so lucky to have it because I know if I didn't I wouldn't get half the opportunities I do now, such as the mod and other Gaelic events. Gaelic is so important to me in life because I feel so proud that I have it and I'm able to speak it as I know there are people out there who would love to be able to speak the language but it isn't easy for them. I understand that we should all be speaking often to make sure to keep it alive because after all it is Scottish Gaelic which is part of our culture and it is our job to not let it die out. Hello, I'm Shona Mari. Um, I am good friends with Miss McTaggart. We grew up together and we were in primary school together. Um, I learnt Gaelic before I went to school. Um, my grandparents and my parents spoke it to me and then I did Gaelic medium from P1 all the way through till about, well, sixth year of school um, in the Nicholson. So I currently live in Glasgow where quite a lot of people speak Gaelic actually. Um, but I work in Stirling as a social worker, so I don't tend to use Gaelic very much in my job, um, but that would maybe be different if I lived um, on the island. I think Gaelic is such a, an amazing skill to have. It's so unique, and people that I work with are always really interested in words and that I can speak in another language. Um, yeah. Hi, it's Misha Caitlin. Hello, my name's Caitlin. I just want to thank you for being here. I'm going to present you to the BBC Alaba. So I'm a singer for the band Sheehan and I do a wee bit of presenting too for BBC Alaba. I heard that you're all celebrating Lana Gaelic. I guess from here, I guess you can have Gaelic in the future. So I wanted to tell you why Gaelic is important to me in my life. Go see it, have as as Gaelic. So I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if it weren't for Gaelic. Mersin, I mean, Dawkins can be sparse. I guess feel like I've, I guess can you see she's back in Gaelic. So I hope you all learn a wee bit of Gaelic and you have fun at the same time. Cheerio. Hi, I'm Seamus McTaggart, and I miss McTaggart's dad. Obviously, live in the Isle of Lewis now, but originally I'm from Isla, and my mum was from Lewis and went to Isla to teach Gaelic. Met my dad, who didn't know Gaelic, and then they decided to bring us up with Gaelic, so myself and my two sisters. We were in a school which didn't have Gaelic medium at that time, so there was no Gaelic medium edu education, and we were taught through English, but our Gaelic was very much at home, and so I think. Nowadays, people are really lucky to have Gaelic medium schools. Um, so I think that's something really important that's changed over the last few years. I work now in Gaelic all the time. 
I work in television and I worked at the BBC for a lot of years in Glasgow and I've since moved up to Stornoway and work with a company called Mac TV. I guess it allows me to use my Gaelic every day and that's a really precious thing for me. Um, I'm passionate about Gaelic and I think it's really important. And I think I'm really lucky in that I get the chance to work in Gaelic all the time, making these programmes and also with the team that I work with in Stornoway here um, at Mac TV. We've got about 17, 18 staff and that's a really important thing for me. Um, I think in terms of what it means to me in terms of Gaelic itself, I think it's, it's really important, it's part of who I am, um, it's part of an identity that um, is Scottish obviously, but I think it's more than that. Um, it ties you together as people because you have a, a language that's unique and I think it's also something that just means that you as Gaelic speakers are united in, in a way that's um, very, very special. So I think always remember that for yourselves. Um, you know, it's really important to, to use your Gaelic and speak Gaelic. And much as it's difficult at times, and as you're getting to use the language and get used to the, the language itself, just keep trying, that's all I would say. Hello, happy Lana Gaelic to you all. Um, my name is Rachel Mackay and I'm from Stornoway. Um, I was very fortunate to have been brought up in a Gaelic speaking household. Both my parents uh, speak and work in Gaelic um, and have done their whole lives, thankfully. Um, I didn't always think I was very lucky for that, but I definitely do now. Um, I went through Gaelic medium education from uh, P1, which I was also very fortunate for, and I also carried on um, in university. I now uh, work and speak Gaelic every single day, working Gaelic um, Gaelic TV. Um, I have had amazing opportunities to travel all over the world and all over the country um, because of Gaelic um, and my work. I work with a full team and we all actually speak Gaelic in Glasgow, which is amazing. Um, I work in TV, but I also get to produce and write a radio programme at Gaster, um, which has been really fun and we've done this year and uh, we'd love to get people involved in that as well. Um, we're writing comedy in Gaelic. We are making, I'm also making loads and loads of Gaelic music programmes, which is really, really fun. Um, I think the opportunities that we have and when you carry on, um, and if you're good to Gaelic, Gaelic will be good to you. Suas Leshe Gaelic. Tapalev Gamorish on Eastjoch, August Chiari.